All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a big, big trip for a lot of reasons. First of all, it is the first time we've ever left Olivia overnight. So that's kind of a big deal. She's with uh, my parents right now. And that's giving us an opportunity to go on a little date overnighter <laughs> in the bike cabin. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm up for the challenge, up for the adventure. The only thing that I'm nervous about is whether or not we can both fit inside there. Now, I'm pretty sure we can, but can we fit comfortably? That's the real question. We're used to fitting in small spaces, so. It's true. We can make it work. So in case you're new, this is what I call the bike cabin. Um, basically, I designed it to be a log cabin that we can pull with our e-bikes. Now, I've camped in this thing a number of times, but it's always just been with our dog. Uh, Riley has actually never even set foot inside it, so this is going to be interesting. Ah, very nice. Now, here's the thing, Rye. Yeah. Which one of us is going to get the small side over there because the, the roof slants downward. I mean, I think I know which one of us should. I think you. What? Yeah. I'm the taller one. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come in. Dang it. I wish there was like a curtain for the window. That's scary. See, everyone says that, but I don't even care about the curtain. That's scary. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Okay. This is not bad at all. I actually decided I want to sleep on the other side because the windows kind of scare me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And then honestly, that way I can be the one to close down the door because it's kind of quirky. Yeah. A little bit. So this is Sand Dunes State Forest in central Minnesota. Um, I've been coming here a lot lately, mainly because of how convenient it is to come out here from where we live. And for someone who has a family now, um, it's really nice to have something that's so beautiful, so close to home where we can come out for a night and uh, sort of experience that North Woods feel. Is that an eagle? I don't know what that is. Oh, wow. Oh, that must be an eagle. I mean, that thing is huge. It's huge. Are you able to zoom in on it? I'm as zoomed in as I can. Wow. Beautiful. Very beautiful. So you're gonna get to see a little bit more of sand dunes uh, right now, because we're gonna go out on a bike ride. We actually have two bikes this time. This will be fun. Go Tracks was kind enough to uh, give us these to try out, and so far we are loving them. The bike that I'm riding here is the Tundra Adventure Bike. You can ride in comfort using the adjustable front suspension. It's got 26 inch fat tires and a shock absorbing seat. And the Tundra actually has a 33% larger battery with a 750 watt motor, which is imperative for towing something like our bike cabin. But even without that, it makes it so going up hills is way easier. And then beyond that, I just love the sleek design. It also has a color screen, which I think is really cool. And it just creates an awesome riding experience. Riley has the F5 electric bike here and immediately what stands out to me with this thing is how compact it is. As you can see it folds down really nice and small and that makes storing this thing or transporting it so convenient. What's great too is it's got tons of different levels for pedal assist which allow you to either get a nice workout in or if you need a little bit of help this thing will take you anywhere from 7 to 20 miles an hour. And these are some fat tires too. The total size is 20 inches with a 4 inch width so you're still getting a lot of coverage with these tires. The F5 also has the front suspension that you can control and the removable battery makes charging this thing very convenient because you don't have to have the bike with you while you're charging it. before the snow comes, being able to get out, ride around. Totally. We're going to stick to the main road uh, because it is now officially deer hunting season and we've heard a few gunshots. So just to play it extra safe. <laughs> yes. 
Her hands are freezing. Her hands are very red and cold. <laughs> we underestimated how cold it was going to be. Yeah, I think you're right. Something that's really cool about Sand Dune State Forest is that you've got the state forest land over here. And on this side is the Sherburn National Wildlife Refuge. So we're just kind of surrounded by this beautiful uh, protected land. Take a look at all the birch trees back there. Those are pretty. And then you got the signature pines, the sand dunes over here. So you guys, if you look down here, in the winter time, there's a nice snowmobile trail that works its way back into this grove of pines. I've been working on a little conversion for the bike cabin where I'm gonna have uh, skis on it to be able to use it in the winter time. And I'm actually hoping to be able to take it down this little corridor uh, once it's covered in snow. So we'll see how it works. The bikes are awesome. It's just very, very cold out. I think next time we do it, I'm gonna bring a heavier jacket and some mittens. Is it cold? Home sweet home. <laughs> we love these bikes. The Tundra is just perfect for me for towing the cabin and Rye is loving the F5. So if you want to check out more information about them or about GoTracks, you can follow the link in the description of this video. And with that, I also want to thank GoTracks for sponsoring this video. Now, before we have a fire, I think we need some cabin warm-up time. Maybe a beer? Yes, that sounds amazing. <laughs> All right, let's get the <laughs> heater going. <laughs> there we go. This is really nice. Isn't it? Yes. We have lights. Voila! One for you. Thank you. And one for me. Nice. Mm. Ah, this feels so great. Yes, it does. So cozy. My feet are defrosting. And I really love, especially in this seat here, how you just get the view. And it's like so big because these windows are so close to you. It's just so cool to be able to sit in here and be warm, you know, mm -hmm. and just kind of take it all in. starting to get going. It's getting there. Well, this is kind of nice. Whoever camped here last left us some firewood. So I was telling Riley earlier that I've been really enjoying this bike cabin um, because it just, it, it feels like more of a return to my roots of just like really being more like intimately connected with nature rather than just being inside one of our bigger cabins, um, even though they're still tiny, but I've really been enjoying it. But what do you think, honestly, you know, cause it's, it's a little bit colder. You have to hang outside more. Like what are your initial thoughts? Mm -hmm. I really want to work on being more present in my life and 
Being okay with being uncomfortable is something that I'm learning to do. And I feel like being here, with it being so simplistic and connected to nature, I feel like the most present I've felt in a long time. You guys daylight savings time has ended so with that being said it's starting to get darker earlier so we are trying to beat the clock and make dinner we're gonna make some chicken and some rice it's going to be very nice and simple but delicious This looks so good. Just a bunch of chicken, some rice. It's just steaming. Oh yeah. Very good. Well done, Rai. Mm -hmm. Are your toesies cold? No. I don't know how. I mean, actually I do. They're never cold. That's how. I am all that is man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> comes the heat. Sweet relief. <laughs> Sweet relief. <sighs> nice and comfy. Okay, so we got the sleeping bags out. Mm. What is your take? Do you think you're gonna get good sleep with my feet in your face? <laughs> it's so bad. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully they're gonna be in a sleeping bag. That's good. <laughs> Sounds like Rye's dozing off, but before I go to bed, I gotta go out and uh, blow out the lanterns and make sure everything's good to go out here. And with that, it's time for bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Oh. How'd you sleep? Well, all right, to be honest, not very well. It's a little crammed in here. And if one person slightly turns over, you hear it and so it wakes the other person up so it's just 
was not the best night's sleep. This cabin is definitely uh, a one man, one dog uh, setup. Excuse me, one person, one dog setup. <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of the olden days in our old travel cabin because the bed was not much larger than this and uh, it was a very similar experience. Here's Riley's coffee mug. It looks like a camera lens. <laughs> Gracias. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Good coffee. Headed out for a short little walk over to the other vantage point of the lake uh, before we get out of here. Feels good being up and at it as always. Oh, look at that blue jay. Oh yeah. There he is. All the animals are up and at it. What's the saying? Early bird gets the worm. Yeah, it's true. Good spot, Rye. You're the new eagle eyes. That's all right. When I used to do my old television show, Rock the Park, with my best friend Colton, he was called Eagle Eyes because he would always spot the wildlife. Now Rye is the new eagle eyes because she's always spotting it. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's our little offshoot down to the lake. It's kind of a cool different vantage point. This is really beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? What are these plants called? These are cattails. Cattails. I mean, I'm sure there's a more technical term, but that's what I know them as. Yeah. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You were the way Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I want to give a special shout out to our patrons uh, for going that extra mile to support what we do on this channel. It means the world, so thank you so much for that. And thank you so much GoTrax for sponsoring this video. We had so much fun riding the bikes and it truly made our experience so much better. But that's gonna do it for this video. We're out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, this could be the best thing that I